Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm doing one of my videos. That's my welcome on my video. Not, hey, it's Friday, Facebook Friday. Welcome to another Ferlici Friday, right? Oh, isn't that funny? I'm all out of sorts. So I'm kind of laughing and I wonder if anybody's actually gonna be able to join us on the live today because it really feels like about 11.30 to me, even though it's 1.30 instead. Um, so yeah, hopefully that didn't throw too many people. I'm just gonna chatter for a couple minutes and wait for people to pop on, whoever's available two hours later than normal. I know that's weird. And I'm gonna be curious, I'd love to get your feedback and know whether you like this time better or not. There's a part of me that's like, ooh, I can get all this stuff done in the morning before Facebook Live um, if I do it at 1.30 instead of 11.30. So I don't know, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and you know, I don't I don't know, we'll see. I'm just kind of looking for some feedback on that. So hey, Rosemary, well, this, this is better for you probably because you can sleep longer, right? So yeah, thank you for joining us. Last day of January, oh my gosh. Are we ready? So like summer's gonna be here before you know it, right? Um, yeah, we're gonna be in February tomorrow, which is awesome, February 1st. And when is Groundhog's Day? It was funny. <clears throat> so the reason why I had to um, push this back was um, Lily, my daughter has been having, <laughs> yes, easier for you, awesome. She's been, hey Nancy, hello, welcome. I'm glad you guys can join us. Um, but she's been having these really awful headaches, like a kind of like a tension headache. Like she said, it just feels like somebody's always like pressing on her temples um, and kind of dizziness and just not being able to sleep well. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, it's like growing girl pain kind of thing is what I've been like kind of attributing it to, but it's been going on for a couple weeks now. So we were able to get into um, our doctor this morning. Um, so I had been able to call earlier this week and I figured, you know, this guy's always super booked. So I thought it was gonna be a while before we were able to get in. Hey, Philomena. And they were able to get us in this morning. So I was like, okay, I have to take that appointment. When I saw the time of the appointment, like 9.50, I'm like, well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get home and get showered and ready to go for Facebook Live. So that's why I pushed it back. Um, so we have no answers yet. I'm just praying he, um, we did a bunch of like, you know, they drew a bunch of blood and they're gonna do a bunch of tests and stuff. So um, she's a little bit of a worrier because he said, you know, if we don't find anything on these blood tests, we might have to do like an MRI of her head or something. I'm like, oh no, we're not, you know, these, these tests are gonna tell us what we need to know and she's gonna be fabulous again. Um, Monday, I think hopefully we get the results. So anyway, but thank you guys for being flexible. Um, <laughs> yeah, Nancy, hopefully spring will be here soon. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, um, let's see what's been going on. Um, Lily had her elite experience. This is kind of the first run of all of the um, uh, competition dances that they'll be doing um, in the next couple of months. And it was an awesome show. She did her solo, which I had never seen before. And I have to tell you, you know, to get up there on stage in front of a packed audience you're the only one up there um, she says it's easier to dance than it is to talk I don't know <laughs> I wouldn't be any good at either one um, but I just and you get I got so nervous for her too as she's you know like I could see on the program okay like one more dance and then it's Lily's turn and you know oh there's that like oh you want him to do well and I thought she did fabulously I know nothing about dance so in my mind it was amazing um, so yeah that was fun and then basketball i've got my black and orange so these are alma panther colors if you have not figured this out yet i've been like wearing my black and orange um a lot lately because we have a big basketball game tonight so this is a team that um beat us pretty bad back in december we were not really um we, I don't know, we weren't playing very well as a team yet. And so we're hoping um, we have to go uh, to Bridgeport tonight. Um, so we're hoping um, for a much better turnout to this game. So <laughs> thank you, Nancy, for the prayers. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know, like I said, she's a little bit of a worrier. So I texted her a little bit ago and I'm like, okay, do not like stress out about stuff. You know, it's one of those, like in my mind, there's nothing to worry about until they tell us like there's something to worry about. Like, cause you know, your mind can go a million different places in a million different ways. And like, there's no need for that. So, and you know what, whatever happens, whatever it is, we will deal with it and everything will be good. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so uh, sorry, I'm like, ooh, basketball, right? Isn't that, you know, I guess that's my mindset is like, just stay super busy and don't let your mind dwell on things too much. So if you can't tell, that's kind of, <laughs> that's pretty much my motto in life. Plus it helps you sleep. If you like, if you go, if you're like crazy busy all day long, 
you're exhausted by the time your head hits the pillow it is generally a lot easier to sleep um so yeah so anyway so yeah big basketball game they have been playing so well okay i don't know if i showed you guys this but um <clears throat> i think i mentioned hey sharon hey marge i'm glad you guys can join us um yeah, Cade made it into um, the like the front page of the sports section of our very small Alma Morning Sun newspaper. Um, anyway, but so um, this was like last week. So my dad was all super excited. And I think I told you guys this, that like he ordered prints um, from the Morning Sun, like the newspaper. He actually like downloaded the um, files and like printed them on his color printer at work, bought picture frames, put the picture in the picture frame and we worked together. So by the time I got to work, there was a picture with a picture picture frame on my desk all ready he was so proud so I have to show you guys I, maybe I've shown you this I can't remember but anyway I just think it's so this is it's just really cool so okay I don't know how well you guys will be able to well, probably be able to see it pretty well other than the glare so yeah that's Kate and what I think is so fun thank you Philomena for the prayers too she's gonna be just fine that's what I, I'm just living that way um yeah, it's just some blood thing, I think. Um, but yeah, anyway, so here he is making a shot. Anyway, and it was a, it was like a good picture too, right? And I love the expressions on the other boys' faces. I'm sure that's how it is most times. You know, they're all looking up at the basket, wondering is it gonna go in? But it's fun to get a, um, a shot of that. So yeah, hopefully things go really, really well. They've, like I said, they've been playing really well, like great team basketball. It's been a ton of fun to watch. They had another good win. Last Friday night was a good win. On Tuesday night was a good win. So <laughs> here I am praying for that too. So yeah, and Lily's going to the game. We're doing lots of stuff just to keep her mind off things. Keep her busy and um, yeah, so she's she's going to be feeling better in no time. I'm sure of it. So she danced, though. I mean, like, she danced on Sunday and all, all day Saturday and all day Sunday. That's the weird thing. So sometimes I think um, for her, it's almost better to just stay busy because, you know, when you kind of sit and, like, think about stuff too much, um, then it can kind of make you worse, I think, in some way. So anyway, so, okay, enough blabbering. I, we've got lots of people on. So thank you guys for, again, for your flexibility. So, yes, and welcome if anybody new to Facebook Live. Maybe we're catching some new people at the new time today at 1.30. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad that you're here. So thank you for joining us. Or if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, thanks, Nancy. Yes, good luck to Alma Panthers tonight. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, anyway or later on facebook live say hello i'm always like i'm talking to you even if you don't think i'm talking to you i'm talking to you if you're like oh no she's talking to somebody else no i'm talking to you say hello i love to hear from new friends that are maybe coming and hanging out with us that haven't joined us before so say hello and tell us where you're from and what's going on okay um okay so i think we are ready we're gonna dive right into things um because i gotta be ready to hit the road for this basketball game and i gotta feed everybody we you know we have to it's friday fun night right so we gotta go get some dinner on the way to the basketball game so hey amy joe i'm glad you could pick up your scrapbook pages today that worked out very well so all right so we're gonna do our first drawing so I have names in here. If you share the video anytime between last Friday when we did Facebook Live and Thursday last night at, well, I think I prepped at about 10 o'clock last night. So anyway, your name is in here. Or if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list, if you do that, your name goes in the drawing as well. So, all right, I'm shaking these all around. Let's see, get one name in here. Oh, there's like a string in there too. Okay, I got one little sheet of paper. Miss Marianne, oh my gosh. You have not won in a while, Miss Marianne McGinnis, so congratulations. Oh, and I didn't even show these. The Peaceful, that's what they're called, right? Yes, the Peaceful Poppies Elements. So we pulled these out last week and checked them out. They were awesome. So they've got some already colored poppies. They've got some like black accents. They all pop out too. They're all perforated. And then behind here is some vellum and some watercolor paper that is also kind of in the shape of the poppies, just not colored. So you can do your own watercoloring. So Miss Marianne, congratulations. I will be sending these out to you. And um, if you did not win, um, they are available. And open up website so the peaceful poppies elements beautiful kind of accent um, for you to use on your projects 
So congratulations, Miss Marianne. Okay, so let's see, this week, oh, these are my absolute favorite. I know I say this every single time, but we are gonna give away a package of the Champagne Rhinestones just for sharing the video or signing up for my email list. So do that anytime between now and next Thursday night and your name will go in the drawing to win. Yes, I love, I, <laughs> I think I have like 10 packs of these by now, ladies. It's ridiculous. Nikki, oops, as I fling those. How are you? I'm glad you can join us at the later time. And Philomena too, I'm so thank you very much for your flexibility. I appreciate that. Okay, let me grab those so they're not on the floor. I don't wanna smush them or something. So, um, so I have to tell you guys, we have a new member of the Inkspired Stampers group. We wanna give a warm welcome to Miss Rosa Ramirez. She just bought the starter kit this week. She got that awesome deal, right, you guys? So let me just make sure you guys all know about it, right? She got to pick $125 in product, whatever she wanted out of either the Spring Mini, the new Spring Mini catalog, or and or you can get a little out of each, um, the annual catalog. Um, what else? Oh, well, she got the paper trimmer, the cute little mini paper trimmer. Are you sweet, Philomena? Yes, and you have to do that. That's that noise that it makes. You have to do that when you when you use this. So super cute, fits right on the corner of your desk, fits right in your purse. You can take it anytime you need to trim a little paper, you have this handy ready to go. You also get the awesome sampler pack with the poppy, so right on the front there, and then this is actually some of the Lily Impressions celebration paper, but you get a full sampler. I'm not gonna be able to pull that out very well, am I? Okay, right, there's the front, and there's the back of the paper. So beautiful sampler pack of paper, and then you also get to pick another free stamp set, and I keep telling everybody, I have a list. I think anywhere from like 30 to 43 or $45 is the most expensive. Those are the most expensive stamp sets. So if you look, I'll show you this. If you, because actually the stamp sets are, are really reasonably placed, priced in the spring mini catalog. There, I don't think there's anything over $30. So what I'm telling everybody is to go through in the very back, actually, let me, Make sure, right? Okay, so in our annual catalog, hey, Pam. Oh, thank you. I love this from North Carolina. So Pam, we don't normally do Facebook Live at 1.30. I usually do it at 11.30, um, but I had to change it today. So I'm kind of putting the word out there. You guys let me know if this time works better because in some ways I'm like, well, maybe I'm gonna see how it goes, um, whether this is a better time for me to do it a little bit later in the afternoon. So I'd love to get your feedback on that too, but I'm glad you can join us, Miss Pam. So, okay, so in the annual catalog, if you guys have not paid attention to the very back of the catalog, which I know there's a lot to get through to get to the back of the catalog, but there is a stamp set index and they actually have the name and the item number and the price and the page number all on there. So what I did was I literally scanned down through here and I found the most expensive expensive stamp sets and then you just flip back to the page that they're on check it out if you have it don't worry about it if you don't have it and you love it get that one right so yeah that's another awesome thing that you can get um, in the starter kit so $125 in product the paper trimmer the 6x6 DSP sampler and another free stamp set all for $99 plus tax it is like getting Oh, did I figure it out? I figured it and then I realized, oh, I guess I don't have that sheet. Anyway, it's like getting $150 worth of like for free basically because you don't have to pay shipping either. Plus, and then you get 20% off of anything that you order out of the annual catalog or, and I don't want to lose my other papers, right, but, or the spring mini catalog. And you get all the benefits too that every customer gets too. So demonstrator, when you buy the starter kit, customers get all the same. You get all the host rewards that you do as a customer. Um, you get, um, all the celebration benefits, you actually get even more celebration benefits. Um, if you have good sales and if you share the starter kit with other people too, you get even more free stuff. So this is the time, ladies, to buy that starter kit. Plus, to be an Inkspired Stamper is awesome. We have this whole other world that's available to you if you buy the starter kit through me and become an Inkspired Stamper. I've got more information on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Um, one of the tabs up at the top says, I think, become an inspired stamper or something like that. Anyway, so we've got lots of more information on there too. If you're wondering, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to join or to welcome you 
into our Inkspired Stampers family. So think about that. You've got from now, we actually have two months left. So we still have obviously one more day in January and then all of February and all of March to get that starter kit. But the sooner you get it, then the sooner you can get all those fun freebies during celebration too. So lots and lots of good stuff, okay? Um, okay, so this week, and actually, okay, so you guys, secret, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I haven't had any online orders for the last two weeks, so I really wanted to give away, this week we were gonna give away the lily pad dies, which I should open these. No, you know what, where's my, oh, here it is. The lily pad dies. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I just can't believe that you guys don't want these, right? Maybe unless everybody's already ordered them. So this is um, an item that you can get for free with a $100 order, but I'm giving it away. All you have to do is put a $30 order in. I have a new host code, which darn it, I printed that, I gotta go grab that. It's on my blog already though, the new host code. I'll give you that to you in a little bit also. But yeah, order online, use the host code and your name will go into the, to the drawing. I'm gonna give you a choice. If you want the um, lily pad dies, or I've also got, this you can't even get right now. It's like uh, unorderable. It's not even on back order. This is the, can you see that? The kerchief card kit. So this is another item you can get for free during celebration, but not even right now. Um, and these are the envelopes that, so I'll show you. These are the cards because I actually put a couple of them together because they're super pretty and they're really simple. There's actually no stamping. Um, you just pop all these pieces out and adhere them, you know, kind of one on top of another, tie a pretty bow, and you're all set. Plus, I've got cute envelopes. That envelope there and that envelope there. So what I'm going to do, okay, so put your online order in. Use the host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, or I'm going to give you in a little bit when we turn the camera down. Um, spend at least $30, and you get the option of whether you want the kerchief card kit or the um, lily pad dies. I don't, doesn't matter to me. I'll draw your name and you tell me which one do you want, okay? Plus, you also get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little while. If you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get a free embellishment or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So you guys, there's so much good stuff, right? This is that fun tutorial. We're actually gonna be coming out with another, can I even flip? It's all curled up. It doesn't wanna flip very well. Well, there, okay, we'll just flip just a little bit there. Um, you get this one um, in January, so if you put your order into the day. Um, and then, uh, well, I think tomorrow, I have to check on, on that. Um, we should have a new tutorial for February with 16 more new projects. So, awesome time to order. Um, your odds are really good. You know, you could be the only one that orders next week and then, gee, look at that, look at all that great stuff you'll get. So, hey, Miss Kay, I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, okay, I think we're good. I showed all that stuff, right? Sorry, I'm trying to, oh, I, I moved my notes, that's trouble. Gotta make sure I stay on task here, so. Okay, oh, I have to show you guys. So um, lots of people make these calendars and I finally, this is like the first year I've ever made one. I think I made one at a retreat a few years ago, but so I don't know if you guys have seen, I put this on my blog, again, at gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. It'll go on that side. There we go. So, <laughs> hi, Kay in North Carolina. Yes, we have lots of friends in North Carolina. I think that's so cool. So this is an example. There's that lily pad stamp set and my favorite sentiment in the um, spring mini catalog. It says, kindness is always in style. So can you imagine having this little calendar on your desk? Uh, so we're gonna, in a moment, we'll be able to tear off the January calendar, and then we'll have February and so on behind it. I also used some of the metallic baker's twine, the celebration baker's twine, and then the celebration um, lovely or lily impressions designer series paper. So and you can see it's one that so it'll kind of stand up. You guys have probably seen these, lots of people make these, but I had not, and so I was really proud of myself that I ordered these, like back on Thanksgiving I actually ordered these, so I was super on top of things, which, I, you know, in my mind, I'm on top of stuff, but it doesn't always kind of work out quite that well. So yay, you got yours, Nikki. <laughs> awesome. And what for me, like, I just love, like, I want everyone to see that fun sentiment and think, yeah, kindness is always in style. So we'll be able to have that on our desks all year long and have that reminder of be nice, be nice to everybody. It comes back to you in spades, right? 
So yeah, so if you want to know how to make one, um, it's over on my blog. Um, I posted, I think, last week about that. So it's simple. Um, this is actually like um, a card base right here. This is um, four and a quarter by 11 inches and then scored at five and a half. And I cannot remember what's inside there, but I did give you um, info on how to do that. And then you just decorate it however you want. There's um, a website called Tailored Expressions. That's where I got that. And I'm sure I put that info um, on my blog as well. So let me know if you have any questions, but I thought that was just a cute little calendar and I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying that myself. Um, okay. I think we are about ready to turn the camera down. One other quick thing, and um, I could just use your um, help a little bit um, with, so we're gonna go on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to Maui this summer, and I wanna go in a few days early, um, and we're just gonna stay somewhere kind of real low key, but I wanna rent a car and like drive around and check stuff out. Um, I went to Maui like maybe like 20 years ago, and really, um, can't remember much, you know, I didn't journal or anything. I didn't write anything down. So anyway, I'm looking for ideas. If anybody's been to Maui and they have suggestions of things to do with a 17 year old son and a 15 year old daughter, you know, these have to be like fabulous, exciting, like amazing things or they're bored. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, but I do, I do want to like, you know, get them. Um, I want to do lots of hiking, really, because I, I hear about, you know, hikes that you can take to like cool beaches and see waterfalls and that kind of stuff. So if you have any like hidden treasure, gem, whatever, you know, just any information on, on going to Maui and what to do there, I would love to hear from you about that. So post on here, send me a private message, email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. I'd love to hear your suggestions for that. So it's not for a while. Well, not till July, but I've been um, kind of thinking about when do we want to, well, Stampin' Up! keeps like checking in with me. Do you know when you want to go in yet? Because there are set dates for it, but I'm like, we want to go in a little early. So I'm avoiding um, responding because I don't want to have to pay for that extra airfare any sooner than I have to. So yeah. Okay. All right. So I think we are ready to turn the camera down, but actually before I do that, I'm going to go get my um, piece of paper that has the host code on it. So give me one sec. I will be right back. a moment of panic because I thought it was right on the printer and it wasn't. So apparently I picked it up and put it on another pile and then totally overlooked it last night. So, okay, so I have that, so I'm good to go. So yeah, turn your heads away for a sec. Um, hey, Heidi, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. This is great. I think maybe this is even a better time for people. So, okay, yep, all right, I think I'm all situated around here. Okay, turn your heads away for a second. I've got more good stuff to show you and then we are gonna do our stamping. And Diana, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Okay, and I'm gonna try not to call 911. I'm trying not to push both of those buttons at the same time. It's always a good thing. Let's see, we're gonna flip that. Okay. All right. I think we are good. So while I'm thinking about it, I'll just give you, because this is the new host code. I started it early. So it's technically February's host code, but if you order today online, this is the host code you're gonna wanna use, the 7YR4N2JQ. I will never be able to memorize that. I try, I really try to memorize those, but that one, that has like zero meaning to, I don't know, I'll have to look at that a little bit more. <laughs> I always try to like make like a mind, you know, rhyme or something. Um, to help me out, but I don't know about that one. We'll see. You know, a little bit brain dead right now. Okay, so I have to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to pull these out of the sleeves, though. We made scrapbook pages this week. Not that one. Okay, so, because I was very proud of these. I love. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one at a time. So this features, isn't it that beautiful? This is some of that Lily Impressions Designer Series paper that you can get for free during celebration. And then actually the back side, you can see if I get super close, this is actually the back side of some of, so some of the paper is super like beautiful, like floral kind of impressionistic looking. And then the other side is a little bit almost like brushed or maybe linen even. And then this is like paint streaks. You can't tell too well. Um, I don't know, can you see any better on that one? 
maybe a little bit anyway and then of course my favorite the champagne rhinestones right with this sentiment that says you are the best with those super cute i think those are called the sweetly stitched stitched so sweetly dies something like that okay so that was one page and then here's the coordinating so you can see you can kind of see them right i'll scoot on over here's the other half so very similar a different it's not the same pattern though you guys can kind of see right so that's big flowers and that's little flowers so different sheets um in the lily impressions designer series paper we've got more this time i use the back side it's kind of a purple more of the leaves and then here this is fun this sentiment that says thank you for being you and i believe i'm trying to remember this stamp set i think it's called morning star and i just love the sentiments it's all i've used out of that set but we'll be playing with that some more i'm sure because it's a very pretty stamp set morning star pretty sure that's what it's called it's in the spring mini catalog and then here's some more fun i did something what i love to do is pull details from cards that i've made too so this was some kind of detail on a card that we made I'm trying to think if I shared that. Maybe we even did it on Facebook Live. You know, the details get fuzzy in the brain after a while, but I love, so this is Pretty Peacock that we die cut with those lily pad dies that you guys all need, right? Um, free with your um, order if you use that host code um, and order online through me by next thir Friday. No, 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 next Wednesday at midnight, sorry. Your name will go in the drawing to win. So that die, and then it does cut this cool detail piece, and then the leaves too. It cuts the leaves also, and then there's some more of that um, metallic baker's twine from Celebration. So just had to show you guys. I was pretty excited about those pages. Everybody really um, enjoyed them too at class. And then okay, so I've got kind of, I've got another set to show you. Kind of a sneak peek alert because we always make three pages. So this is the third. Oh, the sun. Don't come out yet. Give me like a few more minutes so I don't have a glare, right? We got this glare. Oh, well. Okay, so, oops, there's like adhesive on there. Isn't that crazy how you get those little globs? I don't even know where they come from, but okay. Um, so this is the other, the third page. So we make a two-page spread and then a single-page spread, and then I'll show you the other half of this two-page spread that we will make next month. So that's kind of the like sneak peek. If you're coming to scrapbook class, you're going to see the other page that you're going to make at the end of February. Okay. So, but I loved. Can you guys see? This is some of the poppy designer series paper with I love this sentiment. You are loved completely. I'm pretty sure that is from the Strong and Beautiful stamp set. And then we use some of the sequins, the poppy sequins. We got a couple there and a couple more there. And then that poppy stamp, not meant to line up. It's And that's what's kind of nice about it. Hey, Denise, how are you? Glad you can join us. Um, yeah, so you just, you stamp either the black first and then um, this was poppy parade or, and actually somebody tried that at class and I didn't ever even, they did it and then I got distracted, obviously, because I don't remember. It probably doesn't even look any different, but we were kind of curious to know. This one I did black first and then red, and she tried doing red and then black over top. I'm thinking it probably didn't look any different, and that's why she didn't show me. And then some more leaves. So these are this is the Peaceful Poppy stamp set. And um <laughs> Sharon, why is the sun at your house and not at mine? Oh, um, because I live in a better neighborhood than you do, Sharon. <laughs> Okay, teasing. If you saw where I lived, you would understand that that's a total joke. Uh, anyway, okay. So sorry, Sharon. Um, it already passed over you, I think, is how that would work, because you're west of me. I don't know. It, it's coming or it passed over you already and you missed it. Um, or the clouds. I don't know. It's the clouds. That's what it is. It's the clouds. Anyway, so okay. So then here is some of that um, white. And I did do a double because I thought, oh, I wanted it to be a little bit more substantial. So I did a, <laughs> you're saying, haha, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're laughing at my silly joke. Um, what else do you guys want to know about? Whisper white crinkled seam binding ribbon. And then this is actually a die that is part of the poppy dies too. So you get some like label dies in there also. So pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that was one. And then here's the like, okay, spoiler alert, I guess I'll say. If you're coming to class and you don't wanna know what you're gonna make on the last Tuesday in February, don't look at this page. But if you don't care, then here we go. So here's the, um, and I'll do this sometimes, mainly because Stampin' Up! is crazy with the way they sell their 12 by 12 cardstock. So say if I have 10 people that come to um, my scrapbook class, I would need to buy 10 packs of Regal's 12 by 12 cardstock because it's all assorted, 
right? Because if, if, I, if I wanted to make um, Old Olive be the base on both of these pages, this is why I rarely ever do that because I don't have that much of that paper and I'm not gonna buy 10 packs of assorted um, cardstock. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah. So, but I, I like this idea where basically, um, if you guys can see, I took Old Olive 12 by 12 and then I took a Whisper White 12 by 12 and then just put a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 um, Old Olive on there. So they're similar without being exactly, you know, like mirror image of each other. Um, but that's, so Stampin' Up! If you're ever listening, I, I wish there was a better way for us to sell this 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, Cause yeah, like that's a lot. And then I have nine other colors that <laughs> I have to try to work in using all of those. Cause that, you know, I get a lot of paper anyway. So yeah, whatever. Okay, sorry. That was like a little like kind of ranting moment there which I don't really like to do, but that's one thing. This 12 by 12 cardstock is hard to come by. Uh, so yeah, okay. So here's the other page and thank you guys. <laughs> Darlene, yay! <laughs> I'm so glad that you can watch also. And Philomena, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed these scrapbook pages. Yeah, so that sun. Yeah, Sharon. Na, 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 na. I have sun. <laughs> Maybe you have sun now too. I don't know, but look at that. Very much a glare. Um, anyway, but look at, so another poppy. Um, oh, apparently I see little globs there. You guys probably can't see those. There were, there were some sequins on there that um, now it's just globs of glue. But I love this, so very happy to know you and there might be um i cannot remember where that stamp came from but then um more of the poppy designer series paper i love that paper too so okay just had to show you guys that and then sharon you reminded me that i used to always show my um, calendar so i thought why not let's pull this baby back out actually i got a new calendar so i'll just for kicks i'll flip this over and show you guys so every year we make a calendar this is my dad looking like a crazy man right here um, but we make a calendar for his birthday like with all these family pictures so this is my sister and myself this is my son kate and my daughter lily and this was when we were in rome actually this cute little setup that they had there and then let's see again this is my daughter lily on her birthday with my nieces emma and Bryn. and then down here we have my dad's wife jennifer and then she has two grandkids this is ben and Haley. And then this is Jennifer's son, Matt, and then the same kids, Ben and Haley. So I always try to, I had stocked Facebook. I was like, oh yeah, I can do this, no problem. Because you know how hard it is to get pictures from your sister and from your um your, your, from Matt, basically, it's not easy, okay? So I went and like stalked Facebook and just like downloaded a bunch of their pictures and put them all on our calendar. So sorry, that's like a whole thing you guys don't even really care about. But anyway, so this is my calendar. And what we do, because my dad's birthday, I just think this is brilliant. His, his birthday is in January. So we usually are making the calendar in January and saying, oh yeah, dad will have it. Um, because our calendar starts February, 2020, and then it goes all the way back back to January of 2021. So it gives us a little time because we found that it was like nearly impossible to get this calendar done in December and have it here and ready to go for January 1st. So instead we have it all done and ready to go for February 1st. So <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, Oh, what's Sharon saying? Because I might have forgot something I'm supposed to. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's right, Sharon. So now you will not miss out on anything. And you're welcome, Miss Sharon. So um, first up is card class at the Stamp Studio on Wednesday, February 12th. That's from 6 to 8.30. Or Valentine's Day afternoon card class from 1 until 3, uh, February 14th, right? We have our, normally we have our group meeting. Our Inkspired Stampers group meeting is usually the third Tuesday, but there's basketball basketball that day. So everyone in my group has been very gracious to let me move it to Wednesday the 19th. So we're going to do our group meeting then. So if you buy the starter kit and you're local, you can come to our meeting. Or if you're not local, you can watch on Facebook Live just like this, right? And then at the end of the month, we have scrapbook class. It's always the last Tuesday of the month from 6 until 8.30. And you'll make that one peaceful poppies page and then two more fabulous pages that I can't even tell you about yet, but I will have them ready by then. And then online bingo. If you guys want to hang out with me, we do bingo on a Facebook Live. It's on February 27th, but I actually need RSVPs. Those are going to come up quick. 
uh, RSVP and payment by Monday, February 10th, because I have to get everything ordered and shipped to you guys so that we have it in time to actually play bingo. I have to send you your bingo cards, your cute swag bag of product, um, make and takes, gotta get those designed and let you guys know what stamp sets we're using. So it's super fun. I keep the stamping simple. So I'll let you know what stamp sets we use for online bingo. But um, if you have, if you don't have those sets, don't stress. I'm sure you have something else that you can use. Um, like I said, I try to make it more about like the embellishments and the paper less about the stamping so because that's the only thing I can't do I can't stamp images and send them but I can send you everything else you need for your make and takes so yay I'm glad you're excited for bingo Philomena and Miss Kate hello welcome okay so one more I'm going to flip the calendar just real quick because I want to show you guys uh can you see that I don't know if you can see that very well because I, I have to flip this down right okay there we go so weekend retreat is coming up on March 13, 14, and 15. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love for you guys to come hang out with me. That's in Lansing, Michigan. And then um, the one day retreat. Sorry if I'm like, I'm like wiggling everything, right? Um, one day retreat is on Saturday, April 18th. So let me know. I'd love to have you guys join us at any of those events locally or um, online too for maybe uh, bingo, online bingo. All right. Am I ready? Oh, one other thing. There's just so much. There's always so much to show you guys. So I don't know. You guys have probably heard about the coordination products. I think I mentioned them a couple weeks ago. But we are coming out or Stampin' Up! is coming out with products that are going to coordinate with either things in the spring mini catalog or the celebration brochure. So I want to make sure that you guys all know about that because it's going to happen next Friday, February 4th is the first day that you can order these products. And if you remember from last year, and I know I keep saying that, but those froggy dies and the cupcake dies, those went super fast. Stampin' Up! is saying that they have more inventory for those products than they ordered last year. So I don't think things are gonna sell out quite as quickly, but I still worry that they might sell out a little bit. So, hey, Anna, I'm glad you can join us from Wayland. You have to tell me where that is. I have not heard of that. It's probably like when I say I'm, I'm from Alma, nobody knows where Alma is either. Or maybe it's a big town and I just don't know it. So tell me where Wayland is. I'd love to know where you are. Um, yes, February 4 is a Tuesday. Thank you, Nikki. Yes, so starting next Tuesday, I'm sure, pretty Pretty close to first thing in the morning you can order so these are the products I want to I'm going to try to show you them up close because I did not order all of them we could pre-order them and I just didn't want to go crazy I'm trying to stay in my budget like we all like to do right so one of these is the nature's thoughts dies so I'm going to show you the dies right there and then show you what they coordinate the nature's thoughts dies coordinate with this is the positive thoughts stamp set. So I think it's actually probably a little more meaningful because you can see the die is gonna cut out. I think all of those things, yep, I see that one. I see a butterfly, I see a leaf. Um, I think there's that one. And then there's actually, and that flower too. And then there's another cool frame, if you can see. Oh, south of Grand Rapids. Okay, gotcha, I know where that is. Yeah, you're a couple hours from me then if you're south of Grand Rapids, because I would, oh, it's like an hour and a half to Grand Rapids from here, I would say. So, okay, so yeah, but look, there's this cool frame on this one, and you can kind of see on that um, picture there too how they, I bet it has some stitching on it. I'm just sure it has some stitching on it, right? So then the other one, and actually I believe they said that these dies are gonna be carrying over. So those are not gonna sell out, I'm sure. Or if they do, they may go on back order, but you'll be able to get them. So that's kind of cool. I believe the dies that coordinate these dies are going to carry over to the next annual catalog. And as well, these, the special days dies, which these are all the little critters. I know I showed you guys, but it's been a few weeks, right? So here are all the dies in the special days dies. They're $29 too, I should mention that. Over here, these were also the Nature's Thoughts dies are also $29. Okay, so take a peek. Those are all of the images that will cut out. And then we're gonna take a, I'll show you on page 37 in the spring mini catalog. Here we go, I'm almost to page 37, right? Yep, oh, actually page 36, over here. 
the special someone stamp set. So it's going to cut out your little, is that a raccoon and a squirrel and a mouse and the leaf and the balloons and probably the heart. So super cute stamp set. And then you're going to have a bunch of dies that will cut all those things out right there. Right. And you can kind of see all those little critters on that card, too, and everything that it cuts out also. Right. Then we have a few more things. Uh, well, I'm going to skip over because the ladybug dies. We're going to use those today. Um, you're going to see lots and lots of fun projects because the ladybug stamp set, that little ladybug stamp set has been our product of the week all week long on our Facebook group. And then I'm going to show you the coordinating dies. So the ladybug dies are also twenty nine dollars. So stinking cute. You're gonna love them. So then also we have the sending flowers dies and we'll try to get right in there. So isn't that pretty? You can see the circle and all the detail. That's what's cut there. Got a couple of labels and then it looks like maybe um, a flower and something else there. I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. So those coordinate with, where's my celebration brochure? The sending you, oh, I see, okay. So the Sending Flowers dies coordinate with the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. So there aren't really images to cut out, but I'm sure that some of these sentiments fit on the um, label dies that cut out. So I think it's just a great flower imagery in the die that then you can use any of those sentiments with it as well. So then the last one is that Pleased as Punch. Oh no, I guess it, there are two more, sorry. We also have the birthday dies. So those super cute, those are $27 for the birthday dies that coordinate with the happy birthday to you stamp set. So you can see the full um, cake and stand. We've got the flowers, we've got some more flower imagery and then just the cake stand, right? So those I'll coordinate with, oh, look at that. I flipped right to the page, to this happy birthday to you. So you kind of get an idea that's how big that die is that will cut that whole birthday cake out there too. Then lastly, is that awesome? And I should have brought it over because you guys, we have got to, I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be my product of the week next week, that Pleased as Punch designer series paper because this is not carrying over. I know I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago and it is so, so, so cute. So it coordinates with, I wanna make sure I get it right, there is, so the small bloom punch in the celebration brochure, the heart punch pack, tulip builder punch, and the builder umbrella punch that are all in the um, spring mini catalog. So images in the designer series paper can be punched exactly to the same size, so you know size-wise too. So there are umbrellas and hearts and little flowers and tulips, and then the back side is all really pretty, super like fun springy paper. So. Uh, let's see, the paper is actually $11.50 also. So I'm sure if you hop on to stampinup.com on next Tuesday, February 4th, this banner is what you're going to see, some kind of like coordination product release type of thing. And these six items are going to be right on there available for you to order. The one thing I will tell you is if you want to get the starter kit, you can order these things right now in, in your starter kit in addition to other annual or spring mini catalog stuff. So that's a way to get your hands on them even a little bit sooner and not have to worry about anything selling out or going on back order because we do have some back orders. It's just a thing. I, I think I always say, you know, it gets a little frustrating, but I would never, ever, ever want to be the person that's in charge of trying to order and know how much we all want of, of what's in the catalogs, right? Because how many, like how many products are in the catalogs? It's insane to try to figure that out. <laughs> Glad it's not my job. Okay, so let me do a quick double check, but I think we showed the scrapbook pages, we did that. Okay, are you guys ready to do some stamping? I know I am. Okay, where's my little brochure though? I wanna show you guys. So this has been our product of the week, right? All week long, the host stamps, that actually I should show over here, right? This little ladybug. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, there, the sentiments are awesome in addition to this, like the cutest little ladybugs ever, right? We've got a thinking of you, thank you, happy birthday, spread your wings and fly, you're so sweet, hey lady, and you're cute as a bug. And then look at those cute little buggies right there, the little ladybugs, and then we have one, two, three, four ladybugs, that really cool flower, right? So, so cute. So the deal is, guys, the only way that you can get the little ladybug stamp set is, okay, if you want to put a big fat order in, a $300 order, right, during celebration, gets you 12% in host rewards, and you get the free 
little ladybug stamp set. The other way to do it is get friends and family together, get them all to put orders in. Once you get to a total of $300 in product in orders, then you can get that stamp set for free as well. Same thing if you're a demonstrator. If you put a big $300 order in, you're gonna get your 20% discount, you're gonna get your 12% host rewards. At a $300 order, you're also gonna get six free celebration items, right? And you're also gonna get the little ladybug stamp set. So. An awesome time to put a big order in. Stock up, even on like basics, cardstock, adhesive, envelopes. Get all that stuff. Get your free celebration items and get your little ladybug stamp set too. Mm. I will tell you though, if you were to put that size of an order in through me, make sure you pick me as your demonstrator if you already don't have a demonstrator or if you don't sign up and become a demonstrator. But don't use the host code. Don't ever use this host code if you put an order in over $150 because I want you to get your own host rewards. So party sales of $150 gets you 10% in Stampin' or host rewards, okay? So if you put an order in of $150, don't use this host code. Just pick me as your demonstrator. I'll know to give you all the free stuff from Facebook Lives, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay, so actually, let me show you which one. We're going to do this one. So I just thought... I was like, okay, I want to make this card. Do you guys do that? I'm sure online you see cute examples. In the catalogs, I see so many cute examples. So I tried to figure out what they used to make this card, and I'm going to show you. I think I pretty well figured it out, although I will tell you I didn't have that exact pattern of paper because I've already used it a bunch. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to grab our grid paper, my little puppy, right? Little plug for paper pumpkin. Do you know paper pumpkin is better than a box full of pumpy, puppies? <laughs> I was going to say pumpies. That's not right. Paper pumpkin, better than a box full of puppies. And isn't that so cute? <laughs> I had a, a friend come to class and she's a total dog lover and she's like, my grid paper has puppies on it. And this is for sale too. So if you guys want to work on this cute grid paper, just go to stampinup.com and in the little um, looking glass, just type in grid paper and this pops up. So, because I don't have the item code anymore. They didn't put it on here, which I find frustrating. They do that on a lot of things, but not on this one. So that's okay. Anyway, it's super cute. All right, we'll put that back there so you can see the host code. All right, let's do our stamping. Okay, I've been very chatty today. Whew. All right, so here is our first project and I will tell you because on there's a video that Stampin' Up! made and they showed that they used the Stamparatus but honestly it was too close together for me the little hinge technique you know where you put it on stamp it and then lift it up and move it down and stamp it lift it up move it down it, they were too close together so I just eyeballed this and I thought it went pretty well so okay hold on I gotta get my glasses so I can make sure I'm on board here Okay, um, let's see, we need the black memento ink. Let me make sure I have that. Um, okay, let's just get everything out here. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit of coloring too, ladies. So let me show you. They actually used a different pattern. <laughs> Thank you. So I can't take any credit, ladies, obviously, for it, but I just thought, I think it was because of the pinks and the blues that I liked it so much, too, because I've seen so much done with the reds, and I'm going to show you that in just a little bit. But um, I loved, so they think they kind of pulled from this paper. So this is part of the dressed to impressed designer series paper and if you have not seen this paper yet because it's part of and i don't know you know this appeals to some people but maybe not to everybody but it's part of the suite that has the lipstick and the purses or bags and the high heels um i think maybe that's it but you know you get the idea right but the other side of the paper i'm going to pull this out is all this beautiful floral so i'm going to just kind of flip so you can see even that's floral so there's some like makeup, right? There's some more floral, some little high heel shoes, the beautiful. Like I'm just totally drawn to this floral. The little polka dots are cute, but those are fun too, the little high heel shoes, right? Some little diagonal stripes. Uh, perfume bottles, that was the other thing. That's totally upside down, but you get the idea. More bags and the stripes. Look at those stripes, aren't those beautiful? Those would be pretty together too. You could see something fun happening there, right? And then more floral and the lipstick. So what um, they used were these big flowers. And you can see this is all I have left. I just have only gotten one package. But they used the big flowers and I didn't have enough um, with little makeup brushes and makeup on the back, right? So instead, we used this piece 
Here's a little scrap of it. So it's got high-heeled shoes on the back side and then the floral. That's all I have left of those pieces, right? Okay, so super cute dress to impress designer series paper. If you are new to me, um, give me a little bit of time. I still need to get everything posted to gatheringinspiration.com, but I will give you item codes, names, everything that we use on all of these projects so that you can order them yourselves. Okay. So here we go. Um, okay, let me tell you dimensions. Standard card base, pool party cardstock is what we're starting with, right? So we have our eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we scored it on the eight and a half side, inch side at four and a quarter inches. Hey, Sandy, hello, welcome. Okay, so there's our card base. And then we have, let's see, we've got a piece of that dress to impress designer series paper right this one measures one and a half by i did it a little bit more they showed it kind of coming off the edge so i did it by four and three eighths i would say so you just want it kind of coming off the edges just a tiny bit and then this is a piece of garden green cardstock that i cut at one and a half also by like four and a, a quarter inches okay so let's see, what do we wanna do first? Let's do our stamping with our little, where are those little guys? Hmm, there they are. And here we're gonna do our pool party ink. Okay, so let me just show you on our card front, right? So you can see I just kind of stamped them and it really was not difficult. I'm gonna put this underneath here though so I don't get it mixed up. We're going to make sure we're going right side up. So just to kind of get my bearings, I'm going to do those two. And you can see two work really well across there. Then I wanted to kind of stagger it so that it didn't look exactly the same. And you can see I am not worrying about perfection here either. I'm just kind of stamping. We're going to go one more. I'm going to do off a little bit in there because you know ladybugs wouldn't like probably run across your paper in a perfectly straight line right we'll do maybe one more little guy there there we go okay so you can see that was quick and easy i love the stamparatus but it like i said it made them it was more like that close together or even closer it was too close for me it was kind of bugging me so plus this is almost easier to just kind of free free draw or free stamp it i thought Okay, now let's see, what are we gonna do? I think we are going to, let's stamp our little ladybugs. Okay. Oh, I pulled one out, okay. I think I thought I was gonna do the other card first, so it's kind of not all where I thought it was gonna be. You know, I changed my mind like we women do, right? Okay, so this is black memento ink. You can see I'm pressing pretty firmly because this is not a juicy ink pad. I'm gonna press straight down, lift straight up. Oh, look at her, her little, she's like little flower giving you a little, look at how cute those babies are. Love those little ladybugs, so very cute. Okay, so we'll put that one over there. Okay, now we're gonna do our coloring. So I am gonna get my head right into things here, although not really. Miss Carolyn, hello. Are you down in Florida now, I think? I think, I think. Hope you're enjoying probably sunny Florida, right? So I have, this is a lovely lipstick, lovely lipstick, the light um, version here. Um, <laughs> oh, that's funny, Anna. Unintended pun. You said it was bugging you while playing. <laughs> yes. So I'm just kind of funny like that. You know, I, there's probably a lot of things that I say that you guys, like, they strike you as being, like, really hilarious, and I have no idea that I'm even saying them, and that's probably, that's probably a very good example. So you can see I'm coloring the wings in. Hopefully it's not wiggling. I'm, I'm, I didn't want to look up because I'm afraid. I've already gone outside the lines a little bit. Fortunately, you guys are far enough away. You cannot even tell that, right? Okay, so we're gonna just add the pink in there. All right, we're gonna do this one also. So again, this is Light Lovely Lipstick, which it's funny because this one looks a lot more like a Melon Mambo. It's interesting how those colors work. You know, they have to give you enough 
um, contrast between a light and a dark. And so the colors do kind of look a little bit different than what you're thinking, right? Because lovely lipstick, right? If that's lovely lipstick, that doesn't look much like lovely lipstick, does it? But because it, it's a, a light, lovely lipstick. Okay, so we're just going to color those in like that. So you can see that's pretty simple, right? We are going to color our little flower. This is dark. Ha! Huh. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos, Carolyn, and enjoying Florida, I'm sure, too. Did I say this? That this is dark pineapple punch for our flower. We're just going to color that cute little guy in there, right? Okay, now we are going to use, um, this one is a light smoky slate. And I loved this shading that they did. So just kind of on the edges here, next to our pink, we're going to shade our ladybug in with that light smoky slate. Okay. And is that it? So what's, this is, this is driving me crazy also because my ladybugs, I stamped them backwards. So I'm trying to look at this one, which is over there and that, anyway, you know, I guess cause it's late in the day. I don't know. What is my problem? <laughs> There's always some problem, right? Anyway. Okay. So that's good enough there. Now we are going to use, this one is an ivory marker. I'm actually going to use the fatter tip here. So we are just going to color our entire ladybug in. She's going to be ivory. And try to get those little hands, which actually that's the kind of nice thing when you do. That is wiggling a little bit, isn't it? I should like put my head up against it, but then I'd probably like make it fall off the mount or something. Okay, I'm going to come back and do her feet with the um, pointier tip because I'm too afraid. But you get the idea. So these, right? And I'll show you because I thought this was so cute. What else they did in the coloring here is, okay, let's do the feet and this one hand that's holding the flower, okay? So we're going to color that, we're going to color a foot there and there, we're going to do these feet here. And then they gave them little rosy cheeks and I just thought this was so cute. So you just have to kind of color circles in and maybe even do it a couple times just to give a little more shading here. I just thought those little um, cheeks, the little rosy cheeks, just a little bit darker shade, right, of ivory on there. So before they fade in, you guys can kind of see, right? Look at their cute little cheeks. Aren't they just so sweet? So that's the basic idea there. So now let's do our die cutting and then we can kind of put things together here. So I think I'm all done with that little baby there too. Okay. So we've got our die cutting machine. We are going to cut a big circle. This is the largest circle in the stitched shapes dies. Where are those hiding from me? How are they? Oh, I already pulled them out, that's why. Okay, so yep, the largest circle in the stitched shape dies, right? And then I'm actually gonna cut this off. Let's just do that. And we'll put our ladybugs right there and then I'm gonna grab, so you guys can see. Okay, so I already pulled a couple out, let me. These are the two we need for this. But these are all of the dies that you get. So you can see there are three, there are four ladybug, um, you know, different positions that they're in. Some little flowers and leaves, and then that big flower, and then this is like the grass. Oh, I haven't used that yet. They give you two pieces of grass and then just the flower without the stem on it, okay? So super cute. Again, February 4th, you can order these. This isn't something you get free. These are coordinating products with either Celebration stuff or Spring Mini Catalog stuff. You know, I'm getting really technical here. Stuff, right? Is that right? Yes, that's the one that has the little um, flower on it. And I know um, there were friends that were at class the other night that were getting really frustrated with the magnetic platform because um, the dies wouldn't stay in place. And I know that can be frustrating. You just have to move your paper. Once you've learned that, just move just kind of in little titches. It's so much easier than like letting it drive you crazy. 
Okay, and then you just be careful when you put that other clear cutting pad. Sorry, this is definitely wiggling right now. There, okay. Just be careful that things don't move. Hopefully that didn't move too much. Ooh, look at that, that was right on the edge. It worked though. Okay, so we have our big stitch circle. I'm gonna put those right there. Okay, super cute little babies. Look at those guys, okay. Let's get this out of the way too, right? And, oopsie daisy. So I want to, before I forget, I'm gonna stamp the, you are so sweet. We're gonna stamp that maybe right about there. This is in lovely lipstick ink. All right, there we go. Okay, all right, now the only other thing we need to do is which scissors did I use? I don't even remember. So we used to, once upon a time, we had fringe scissors that would make these cuts for us. Like probably um, you would have only had to, you know, cut maybe three or four times. I actually have them and I thought about using them, but I'm like, oh, you can't get them any longer. But this works just as easy, right? So we're just making some grass. There, okay, so you can see how I just kind of cut those. It's not even, it's not perfect, it's not beautiful. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now we are going to put some adhesive on here and we're gonna add our designer series paper. So we just have a little bit of fringe showing along the bottom. And then I'm gonna add some more. Oops, you know what I do need to do though? Actually, hold on, I'm doing this different. Back it up, ladies, back it up. We're gonna just put this. Yeah, that's got adhesive on it, I did do that. We're gonna put this one, because I want that pretty evenly across there, right? And then this one, we're just gonna kinda, of, you know, askew, just kind of off at a little angle there, okay? Then we are going to, oh, dimensionals, forgot them. Hold on, hold on. I don't forget a thing. So does that give me credit for then on the day that I forget two things? Whoops! That's all right though. Okay, peeling those dimensionals off, we're gonna pop that little baby, maybe right about there. We're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind our cute little ladybugs. You see how much things bleed through though, right? You guys can see that? Make sure that you are not um, coloring on like your good wood table, right? Make sure you have a little work paper underneath things so that you don't ruin anything, right? So we've got that one and that one. And now, just for this little bit of fun. So do you guys remember this? Oh, I thought the label was on here. I think it's called the Follow Your Art suite of products that's in the um, annual catalog. And they gave us all these little felt pieces. So last time I used Pool Party, I thought about using that um, pale pink so that would be pretty on there too. They actually used hmm, crushed curry, I think these are. So can you see all the little stitching on those? Aren't they so cute? Little stitched felt pieces. And they're perforated, so you just kind of peel them off. So we're gonna put that one. I like that, that pop of color. Super cute. You Just so you know, so they had crushed curry, pool party, uh, maybe blushing bride, um, calypso coral. And then they also had some twine and oh yeah some little mm, these are cute too little paper clips and these little teeny tiny um trinkety things that say made with love can you see that so and they come in the cute box too i love all these little the packaging the boxes so cute little accessory pack there and let's see where are my glue dots i did bring them i know i did here we go okay so we're gonna just add a couple of glue dots. We'll put maybe one right there. And it did stick, yes, good, okay. And one right there. And we're gonna pop that right about there. And there we go. And what you might wanna do is kind of mess up your, uh, there, so it looks like blades of grass a little bit better there, right? So what do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? So we've got the one with the little blue or with the, so pool party, little thingy embellishment or a um, crushed curry little embellishment. So makes the yellow pop on the flowers, I think too. But er, look at how sweet those little babies are. So cute, right? Those little ladybugs. 
Okay, so now I have to show you. So this next one we made, let me pull it on over here. We made this at Bingo last week. So this was the live bingo event that I had at the stamp studio last Thursday. And this was one of the cards that we made. So we used that cute little um, die and I'll show you because this one's, um, you have to see how this works too to understand. But I loved that little piece. This is one similar. We had something similar to this um, a few years ago, but now they put some stitching. Can you guys see that? So now not only does it have that swirly thing, it's also got the, the stitching there too. Hey Sally, I'm glad you can catch the tail end of things. You're right, we're on our last card, so you have to rewind and catch yourself up. And then, oh yeah, on the inside, we had to stamp those little babies down there too. So, okay, let's see. All right, I'm gonna put that one right there so I know what I'm doing. Gotta get that one out of the way, and that one I do need. Okay, so, sorry, little organization here. We need that one too. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of stuff in this box here. Try to make sure I do it all right. And yet, who knows if I will be able to. <laughs> we can hope. Oh, I have to show you. I was wondering where this card went. So this was another um, card that I made and sent to anybody. Well, my top five salespeople. Maybe I showed you guys this. I can't remember. I feel like maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, so this one says I'd use the sentiment, spread your wings and fly. And then that cute little cursive background stamp with that little flying ladybug. This one I colored it in. This is Poppy Parade and then the ivory on there also. Oh, your alarm didn't go off. That's a bummer, Sally. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, actually I didn't do anything on the inside, did I? But so cute. So there's another little example. And then the die too. So dies you can order again on next Tuesday, February 4th. Okay, so this time, I got some extra paper here, I feel like, but we'll figure that out. So we have a piece of real red cardstock. Uh, this time we cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Mm. Oh, let's see. Someone says they just signed up for online. Oh, Monica. Yay. Yes, I will definitely let you know in case you want to get the stamp sets. I will definitely let you know what stamp sets we're going to use. I have that on my calendar. It's going to be a little bit still until I figure out what make and takes are, but I will make sure to give you enough time that if you want to order the stamp sets, you'll be able to do that before we do our make and takes for bingo. So I promise on that one. Okay. Um... All right, so yeah, so I talked about the card base. Now, must have an extra piece. We don't need that one. Okay, so this is some of the brights. This is Daffodil Delight Brights, uh, the six by six designer series paper. So we've got kind of that um, diamond shape on the back and then the gingham. And this piece measures two inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's the one that's gonna go right there, right? And then we just need to do some stamping and die cutting, so. Let's see, that's gonna be for the black piece, that's gonna be for the red, and then we're, I got lots of pieces here, don't I? We will try to, let's do our stamping with our little ladybug with the flower. So apparently I really like that little ladybug with the flower, because I used it a couple of times. Okay, so we've got that there. This time, I am coloring, yeah, same color as on the other card. So, cause I don't have real red. I think they might have real red um, um, blends, but I don't have them yet. So I thought Poppy Parade worked pretty darn well, right? It's maybe a little bit brighter, but yes, Sally, it's online bingo. That's what she was talking about signing up for. That is on February 27th. It's a Thursday night. So you can do it from the comfort of your own home in your PJs or your sweatpants, your yoga pants, uh, your swimsuit, whatever you want to do, because no one will see you. I have to still do my hair. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear a hat. One of these days I'm going to throw you guys off. That was my other option for today was to go work out and then go get Lily to her doctor appointment and then come home and do Facebook Live. And I would be so gross, but you would not be able to smell me. So that's good for you all. Um, but I would have to have a hat on because I am a sweaty Betty at workout class. It's pretty bad. The, even the men there are like, wow, you really do sweat a lot. <laughs> 
and it's really embarrassing, but it is what it is. I think it's, you know, age or something. <laughs> so, hey, Susie, how are you? So if you, I'm like chatty chatty here, right? Okay, so you can see what I've done so far. So I did the um, pineapple punch and then the poppy parade. <laughs> yeah, I know, super scary. I was trying to scare people, Sally, that's why I said that. So then right in the middle of the flower, we're just going to add a little bit of red, just a little pop there too. So, okay. So coloring done on that one. Now, what I want to show you guys, these dyes. So these are the painted labels dyes. So these go with the Peaceful Poppies stamp set. So we're going to use this labely guy. This is the one that threw me though. So this is what we're going to use to do that. But I really think you need to die cut this first and then stamp it. Because otherwise you stamp it and you hope that you get your sentiment in the middle of that. It's a little bit different. I'm not sure. Well, I guess they had to do it that way. I don't know. I was kind of thinking they should have a cutout, you know, like the rest of them, and they don't. So that's how that goes. So we're going to do that one and that one on there. Oh, crafter math. Seriously, ladies. Um, this is the one here. And then we actually need a circle. Oh, I did not help myself out at all, did I? Wow. I cannot even show you these because these are... I have two sets of these circles. So this one, okay, seriously, this is what I work with. I never want to show you guys that. I have another set that's really nice. Um, so off camera, I am determining that this is the third smallest straight edge circle is what we're going to use for that red piece there, okay? So because I'm too embarrassed. I couldn't find my other ones one day, so we used those and hot mess ladies okay here we go we're gonna die cut these little babies again and make our super duper cute card okay so we've got black just a scrap piece of black cardstock just have to fit that die on there we have real red cardstock with our circle die and then that one can just fit on there anywhere and we will stamp that next and then we've got our ladybug and get her. Okay, I think we're all good. So my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath. Then the paper, the dies with the ridge down so they make the cut. And then another clear pad on top to cut. And Sally is saying she has lost some weight, <laughs> but not swimsuit ready yet. I, yeah, I hear you. Takes a lot to be swimsuit ready the older you get, right? Okay, we'll come. Yeah, I have to try that one more time. Okay, and we need this one too. I did bring my, um, what's that called? My brush here, so we might need to use this. This one, because you need to be a little bit careful, like those things pop out pretty easily, but the little skinny bits, um, you don't want to tear them. This one's just gonna be funny for me today, I think. Or maybe not, let's see. Did I get it? Sometimes you can fling them. You know, I've done that before. I just flow, throw this around a little bit and things pop out. Okay, so we've got that one. And yeah, so you just wanna be careful because some of these are attached, so you don't wanna just yank things out and not get what you need. So we're gonna be very gentle, okay. And I think um, the more you use this, the easier it is. And it all depends on your big shot too. There, okay, so, but check that out. Can you guys see? It's hard to see on the black, isn't it? But isn't that cool, all the swirlies and then the stitching on the inside there? I just really, really like that. Okay, I'm gonna hope I find a maid to uh, <laughs> come clean up after me, after Facebook. This is the part, after I'm done, I'm, I go like, I wanna go lay down and then I look around, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't lay down. I have to clean up all this stuff now. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, one more thing. We're gonna stamp this. Thinking of you, where is that stamp? I brought it out already, it's over here. Okay, so we've got a little thinking of you. So can you see, so we need to kind of eyeball the one thing is it doesn't matter if it's straight because you can just turn it. But yeah, that's pretty good, right? Okay, so we've got our thinking of you. <clears throat> and then I forgot to mention we have a whisper white piece. This is going to go on the inside. This measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And like I said, I will have all the dimensions for everything. 
um, on my blog in just a little while. Okay, we're going to clean that off because there was pool party ink on there. Probably would not matter, but okay. And because, oh, maybe I won't go off the edge, right? We're just going to put a couple of these little babies and I have to show you because I think they show up a little bit better in black than they do, right? Look at it. <laughs> and then some of the ladies colored them in too at Bingo. They put little, they used some of the red or maybe even yellow, um, the pineapple punch marker on there too. But aren't those, look at all those cute little ladybugs just chilling out there. All right, here we go. We can put things together once I find my adhesive that's right in front of my face. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna just add that. And I might even put that one on the inside right now while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise that could be forgotten. Let's flip that down so I can see where the crease is. Okay, that goes on the inside. Now, we need some more dimensionals. So we're gonna put a couple, I don't know, I always like to do three. Somehow then it's like not gonna be off kilter or something. Okay. So we're gonna put that maybe right about there. And then this red piece, I just adhered down. I did not pop that one up, but it just kind of makes um, your ladybug pop up off of the black a little bit better. We're gonna put another dimensional on there. And on this one, I want to make sure to kind of go down in that bottom left corner. Because you guys know me, I don't think like things lopsided when I'm uh, adding them on, right? So I don't want to put a dimensional there because then it'll be already popped up behind that black one, right? So we've got a little thinking of you. Look at how cute that is. And then, so I salvaged, I think we used it all at class, but I found a little wisp of, this is that silver metallic -y, I don't know what the name of it is, but I will tell you when I put it on my blog post this afternoon, but it's like a sparkly. I think this was one from the Halloween suite last year, but it made it over, carried over into the annual catalog. And this is being funny. This is actually really, um, easy ribbon to work with, so I'm not sure why it's being funny today. Let's see. <laughs> you, you're you enjoying all the creativeness. That is awesome, Sally. I know there are, there are a lot of cute little projects with the ladybug, the little ladybug stamp set, right? So again, guys, you can get it. The only way you can get it is free with a $300 order. So Put your Mac Daddy order in. Do not use the host code though, or just gather orders together that total $300. Either way, you put a $300 order in, however you wanna do that, uh, you get the little ladybug stamp set for free as well. You don't have to do anything else. Plus you get host rewards, 12% on a $300 order too. So, okay, whoo, boy, I think we made it ladies. Okay, so we're gonna just clean that off a little bit. So we've got these cards, right? So quick recap. Oh, my throat's getting dry. That means it's time to stop talking. <clears throat> but here we go. Where are those? Oh, I don't know, wherever the other dies are. I pulled them out, they're somewhere. Okay, so like I said, quick recap. If you put an online order in, all you need to do is put a $30 online order and you cannot see that, I know, but that's what I'm telling you. By next Wednesday at midnight, you are gonna get uh, your name in the drawing to win either the Kerchief card kit with these two fabulous cards. Actually, I think it's eight of them. Eight cards, eight cards, does it say? Not somewhere handy, but anyway, yep. So you can win the Kerchief card kit or you can get the um, lily pad dies. You pick whichever one, right? If your name is drawn, you automatically receive one of each of these cards um, when you put an order, order in and use that host code. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get either a free embellishment or that 16 project PDF tutorial. So shop away, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, I appreciate your flexibility. And let me know, which time do you like better? Do you like 11.30 better or 1.30 better? Um, I'm not saying I'm gonna change anything, but I'm kind of, you know, thinking about it. So we shall see. Okay, you guys have a great weekend. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you posted on everything. I hope you guys, um, yeah, last day of January and um, we'll have a great first couple of days of February. And oh yeah, don't forget that you can get wherever the ladybug dies are. It's a total mess here. Um, these, the ladybug dies and the other coordination products, you can start ordering these. You don't get them for free. You order them and pay for them starting next Tuesday, February 4th. So bye guys. Let me know if you have 
any questions on anything, have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday. We'll be back here at 1130 um, as far as I know. We'll, we'll do definitely next week and then we'll kind of evaluate from there. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you liked this time, Philomena. Good. No PT, right? <laughs> Bye.